Hello everyone and welcome back to Neon Abyss. I'm Modia Barandas. We're back one more time. One last time. Um, yeah, this will be the last run of the game for right now. I'm just gonna tell you that up right now. Regardless of how well we do, if we unlock the new character or not. Um So I've I've voiced my criticisms of the game here in the past, and um I looked at their, their developer log and they are actually addressing some of these things that we talked about. Some of the things I ran into, like the fact that um, the violence, that's what it's called, the red one is violence. Um, the violence one doesn't, it like overrides the wisdom one, which and thematically is kind of cool, but uh, it doesn't, like <laughs> I don't like it as far as gameplay wise. I like that, I like that violence overrides wisdom, but uh, it, it also sucks for, for gameplay wise. Um, so yeah, that's no good. They, so they're aware of it though. They're making some changes. It's in the beta branch now. If you guys are interested in checking stuff for yourself, you're playing this along or anything like that. Uh, the beta branch does have some changes that they're toying with. So that will happen. It sounds like they will make some adjustments. And this is just more of like a bug rather than a design uh, intention, I think it sounds like. So they will be fixing that. There's a couple other changes they're making too. Um, stuff I even talked about. Like, okay, so like, we all noticed that the grabber pet is uh, Donald Trump, right? So I didn't even want to, to get into that because um, it's difficult to unpack, honestly. His name is the grabber, which if you think about the origins of that, um, you know, I can't, I'm not going to say because I'm mostly a family friendly, I'm not a family friendly, but I mostly try to be a family friendly uh, channel. I hold myself to a certain standard of the way I say, say things and talk about things. So I'm not going to repeat what the origin of that is, but we all know what it is. And the fact that people saw that and were like, that's my guy. Lots of people voted for him still boggles my mind that I have to hold myself to a higher standard for a freaking YouTube channel than the president. So it's a little nuts, but uh, we're not even going to get into that. Like I said. I, I've, I noticed it. I decided not to speak on it until this moment. And now I have. So there's that. Um, so that they're, what they're doing is the quote unquote problematic, uh, controversial, controversial, that's what they use, controversial, controversial pets. There was a couple of them. And they'll be marking those as a optional pickup. So you don't have to take them if you don't like them. Um, you'll see what the pet's going to, I guess, what the, when it hatches, you'll see what it is. And if you want it, you can keep it. So it's still going to clog up your inventory and you will basically have the, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played the implementation of it, but it sounds like, so it sounds like one of two ways. The, the, the eggs themselves will be marked as controversial eggs. And then you don't have to pick them up. You'll see like, oh, this is, this is, I'll step on that one. I'll pick it on magnetically. This will have an E on it. So I won't have to necessarily pick up the controversial egg if I don't like the controversial stuff. Now, the problem there is that you don't know what the controversial one is going to be. Maybe it's a controversial one that I don't care about or one that I like. Maybe you're all for the grabber. I don't know. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, all right. Since we're not in the bug mode here, I'll just do that. Uh, not that I can afford anything here. One change I like is that they're going to make it so that uh, everything on the first floor is half price because you can't really you just never buy anything on the first floor. Generally, um, it's kind of impossible. So the uh, the first floor will be half price in the, in the, in the next update, which is kind of cool. Um, that's a nice little change. I like that. That means they're listening and paying attention to what people are thinking about it. It's not it's not the the grabber that's not making me play the game, though. It's because the design is bad in a lot of ways. It's not. It's, it's got a lot going for it. I will. I won't. I'm not going to take the game. I'm going to I'm going to give the game credit where it's due. I think the game is is pretty OK in a lot of ways. I think it could be great. And that's maybe why it, it's uh, more disappointing in some ways, because the game could be great and it's not. Um. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. So I want to take a break from it for a bit after this episode here. We'll play something else. I'll find something else to play. There's lots of things I can play and uh, we'll await uh, Rogue Legacy coming out. And if the game updates and adds a bunch of features or makes some changes that I like or feel like is worth revisiting, I will uh, revisit in the future. Because, I, again, I think the game's got a lot of potential. It's just, um, yeah, it's got to rethink some things, that's all. And it sounds like they're doing that, so. Like, that's not changing. The fact that it's just, like, something, I don't know, maybe they, if, they, if they started telling you what it is ahead of time, that would be one thing, too. So yeah, there's that. 
And um, yeah, I think that's the main thing I'm thinking of here. But there was a big change log they had, a bunch of changes. You can go read them. I don't remember what they all are. And really, they're kind of um, they kind of made clear that it's not set in stone. Anything they're gonna change right now in the beta branch is not necessarily gonna stick around. And then also they said that I would I would switch over. They said your progress wouldn't necessarily be saved in the beta branch. So I'm like, well, I'm a new YouTuber here. I'm not gonna um, take a risk on that. Like I don't want I don't want my power progress to go away just because you guys decided to change something. So I'm not going to do it. I'll wait till the beta branch goes official and I'll move to it at that time if, uh, if we're still interested in playing this at that point. But maybe I won't be because there's a lot of good things coming out. Namely, maybe Rogue Legacy. We're going to have uh, some other other. I'm sure there's other uh, Rogue Legacy coming out. That's the big one on the horizon for me anyways. Um, but that'll be coming out on August 18th. So a little less than a month away now. Actually, almost a month away. Was for watching this on Saturday. So, Imperial Force is a chance to fire laser, yada yada. Okay, chance to fire laser like. That's a good one. So, one of the changes they're making is that this uh, this thing here will be, um, after you put enough coins to it, sometimes it breaks. And then now it breaks in the beta branch, it will automatically open then, which makes a lot of sense to me. And it gives you a reason to keep pumping money into it. Now, the, the fact that they had a one coin hid behind a five coin uh, slot machine is not great, but that's I'll take one step at a time. If it's random, it's random. I don't mind. Looks like we're doing a lot more damage now. Oh, the laser's kind of cool, actually. Hatching's empty. Laser's kind of cool. Uh, two crystals. Yeah. Easy. Oh, we got him back anyways. Well, it's a heart, though, so who cares? That said, like I said, this game has potential. You guys, you guys know my thoughts. If you've been watching it with the series this long. And if you have been sticking the series and love it, I apologize that it's ending. Um... I would say based on the views, just getting the inside baseball and based on the views, it's it's okay. People will like it. They'll watch it regularly. I think they'll probably watch just about anything I'll do. Um, so I'll spend my time doing other things that I'm more enthusiastic about. You know, I try my best to be enthusiastic about everything I play. So I'll try my best here. I can't open. Oh, I can't open this. Uh, let's do this. Since I don't have a double jump. Hopefully it's worth it. Hey, it is definitely worth it. And let's do this too, because why not? We're not going to overthink anything here. As you can see, I'm just kind of playing through it. And and I don't think the problem is, I think I think the other thing too I'm seeing here is that the early game is enough you can get by just on your platforming skills, it seems like. I don't know how many times I've been hit here so far. How many times I've been hit? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've been hit too many, but there's one. There's one, there's one. Um, but. There's a point where it changes and that's no longer the case. Two, player two ready. Don't let up. Uh, going for it again. They didn't. They mentioned that they didn't mention that there's gonna be half a second added onto these things. Don't let up. The more enemies you hit with stop, while stopping, the more damage you'll do. Okay, so I have to keep hitting enemies without stopping. Like fire constantly. Can I fire between rooms? I can fire between rooms. Okay, well, kind of fun. We can try that out. Uh, oh, we do have a teleport here. Should we open this up? Let's do it. All right. A lot of times it'll give me a grenade back when I open those, so that's why I just go for it usually despite not always getting what we need. Uh, so this is a sacrifice room. It's gonna cost me a whole heart. Sunglasses, ax, or let's go with sunglasses. Easier to aim, increase your weapons damage. Okay, but that does that, does that take it to level three? It's still level two, okay, good. I wonder if the level two is based on how many levels I've completed with the weapon, and that's all it is. And the damage that it gets is just natural damage it gets. I, it could be. It could be. Yeah, so at a certain point, it just, I don't know, it's like all of a sudden shifts um, later in the game where we no longer can get by just on good platforming. I don't know what it takes, like meta of the game, I don't know what, but we seem to be getting to a, a breaking point of all of a sudden, your build is not viable. Like, it's like, okay, well, great. I wasted all that time. And I know there was a lot of roguelikes like that. I mean, you know, like Slay the Spires, like that. 
card games, if you're not building it in a certain way from the start, you might get into issues if you don't have a good plan going in and then randomness can do you in too. This guy's no problem. Um, the, the more damage, uh, continuous damage I do, the more damage I'm doing. Look at this. Look how fast it's going now. Look how quick that dog died. That was amazing. I had a heart container. Nice. Another one of those. How many are we up to now? Does it tell me? Nowhere. Okay. That's fine. Let's get out of here. Um, yeah, so if you don't make your build a certain way, you won't be able to survive. And then maybe they were just missing that meta of it right now. I don't know. Because we don't understand. I don't understand the game too much. I mean, honestly, I'm, I, I I try to understand the game fully. And I, I have done what I can to understand it. I've, like, the reason I found the, uh, the change. So see, that was just bad. That was just bad. Uh, the reason I knew about the the changes of the game is looking through the discussions to see what other people are saying about the game. See if I get in their like ideas of what people are running into, the complaints and that kind of thing. Um, I didn't really find a whole lot there, but I did find the update about all the changes here. Oh, one change that affected this last run, and it'll probably affect, it might affect this run too, later on too, especially as our bullets are getting bigger, is that um, it's a small change, but enemy bullets are going to go above player bullets. Right now, player bullets are on top, you'll notice. So when I fire at something, I can't see where their shot went, um, which seems like something they should have thought of. But uh, yeah, this game, it honestly feels, I hate to say it, a little early access. And I don't want to disparage things that, um, you know, this, this is somebody's hard work, right? I don't want to disparage it like, like that, but it just, it just feels like it could have used some player feedback before launching. And maybe they had they had a lot of testing and that kind of thing they did. I don't know. It's Team 17. I mean, they have their own testing department and that kind of thing. They usually don't like release half finished products for the most part. They release demos. But Team 17, I think, I don't know if Team 17 does a lot of early access, honestly. This guy's not too bad. So like this is like platforming skills, right? This is just platforming skills. And at a certain point, it just shifts. I don't know what it is, but it just shifts. Oh, flat sucked. But there, see, that was honestly no problem. And we're still on normal mode. I mean, I could try hard mode instead, but I feel like this is gonna do more damage from enemies. Enemies are gonna do more damage. I'm gonna do less damage. That's all it's gonna be. They'll have more health, and I'll have less health. So, you know, it's not gonna do anything extra. That would be cool. I like, I like when there's hard mode for a reason, like in Terraria, when you do the master mode, you get master mode stuff, expert mode is worthwhile, um, for certain benefits, and that kind of thing, beyond just harder difficulty. It's harder difficulty, but also that has a purpose to it, which I like. And maybe that is here, I don't know. Maybe you do get better loot, who knows, but it doesn't seem like the way the loot works in this game it would work that way. Not bad. See, we're getting the right damage increases that it's um, like this thing. This one that's like the longer you do damage. Is that sunglasses? Uh, increases weapons damage. No, it's um, this one. Ready Player 2. The more weapon damage you'll do without stopping. So like that scales. Like that means that as, as I play through this, um, it'll it'll continue to do damage for me regardless of how, like I'll start at a high damage point and it'll go higher. So that, that scales nicely. So that means we could get further than before. Who knows? And I am upset that we're gonna like unlock a character probably today and not get a chance to try it out. But we will come back if the game, if the game proves it's necessary, we'll come back to it. How about that? Balls in the game's court. As I said, people probably like the game. It's, it's, I mean, maybe it's my particular taste. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I fully admit I could be wrong about anything. I'm not a guy who like has a lot of, I'm sure pretty like, <laughs> I think generally I'm pretty, uh, what do you want to say? Like middle of the road, not necessarily, but like I, I, I can um, see, I don't take a, like a hard perspective on a lot of stuff. Like I'm not, I'm not a hot take kind of person. <laughs> I have opinions, but I generally try to keep them pretty mild. Pretty re that's what I was, I'm reasonable. That's what it is. It's, it's, it's a <laughs> rare demand these days. I'm a reasonable person. How about that? It's 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 rarer than you, you'd like, probably. But it's also not very entertaining at the same time. You get a lot of attention if you're just contrarian about everything or, uh, you know, whatever. 
claim to have a hot take or just kind of that kind of person. It seems like he'll get more attention on Twitter and that kind of thing. Nobody wants a reasonable take. Nobody wants like, uh, hey now, let's hold on. This person worked hard on this. Nobody really wants that take. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I could pop some coins in this, get that thing, and I don't need the energy, so let's hold off on that for now. I'd rather buy a new gun if it is in the cards. But then again, again, I don't know how that cart, that level works. It's not based on the levels that we've gone through, because we should be at level three then right now for the weapon, because I've used it the entire time. I think. Oh, haven't I? No, yeah, I have. I have. I timed it badly. Oh, we didn't, didn't matter though. Okay, there's the boss door. And there's this guy. All right, let's get in there. Because I have 70 for a gun. So let's take a look. So it looks like some type of rifle for 50. Let's do it. Black Widow. Hold your breath. Roll forward a short distance for active. Okay. Is it a free active? Because that would be a nice free active. A dodge. Please be free. No cost. Yes. Nice. I dig that. We have a dodge roll finally. Oh my god. I can't do it like a dodge roll jump though. Too much to hope for. Okay, so now it might be worthwhile to get into this. Ah, shoot. One more time. All right, one more time for real. All my money. Hey, lucky sevens. And a pet, that's good. Look at this gun. Oh, it's very uh, slow. This might be a problem. I didn't fire it before I got married to it here. It only fires two shots at a time. That's gonna be suck for one of our synergies too here because um, yeah, the synergy is I have to do, keep doing continuous damage, right? So I don't know how this is gonna work out exactly. I'm just going back here for the, but the dodge roll part of this is pretty huge. If, especially if it's an invincibility dodge roll, or I can actually use it to get out of the way of things. Not just a quick movement. Gotta make each shot count now. So this is our first reloading gun, actually. Never really had to consider it before. Luckily, I saved a key for this. I totally planned that ahead. Don't worry. Ping pong paddle. Increased weapon damage. Ooh, fire a bouncy bullet. Okay, never mind. There's a chance you'll fire a bouncy bullet. All right. Uh, let's take the teleporter here. And check out over here. There's keys everywhere. It pierces, which is nice. pop our stuff into this one here. Strange sound from afar. Need more keys. Alright, let's teleport to that then. And we get to choose. Let's take the hood. Extra jump. Nice. Very helpful. Alright, I need keys to get into those rooms so I can't do them at all. I can get that now, though. Oh, well, oh, geez. I think I can get that now. Nice. Nice. I can't get up there, can I? Oh, I can. Nice. Much easier than going through those spikes again. Okay. Now, this is going to be tough. Sun God of Screens. Okay, this will be kind of tough. Is this person different than the other one? The other God of Screens we face? Oh, this is different. This is different. Oh, there's Sam and Sung. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's very clever. Now it finally makes sense. But it's also product placement in a weird way. Odd that they choose a brand for it. Like, there's not, like, one TV brand, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, why not Sone and, and Sone and Ni? You know? Viz and Yo. Panna and Sonic. They better all be in the game then. We'll fight Panna and Sonic next time. Uh, L and G. What else we have? 
Is this like that that uh, that bar game you play where you try to name things in a certain category? You don't know what I mean. Somebody says like car models and you have to name off as many as you can if you can't name when you drink. That kind of thing. I need a key for that. I got like four levels deep in TV brand. Am I missing one? Am I missing a big one? Nope, we're gonna die now. I like the piercing on this a lot though. It's kind of nice to fire through enemies like that. Uh, I don't have a key for that guy. So we'll hold off. Um. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we just gotta slow it down. Alien baby. Yeah, I forget all the other controversial ones. I just don't know why they were controversial or what. I wasn't paying enough attention to it. There's only the one, uh. If I see one, maybe I'll remember it. Oh, dude, come on. The Psychic Bear fires through the walls, of course. Psychic Bear also has a lot of health. Holy cow. There we go. That's what I was hoping to do. Now remember, like, all those shields are going to be gone once we get to the next level here, because for whatever reason it gets insanely difficult after five. And we are deep in the level, but it's like, it hasn't, doesn't, shouldn't change that much. Oh, cool. Also, there's, um, one of the changes in the update that they're going to be doing, or, I mean, one of the plan changes that they have talked about doing, there's the grabber, uh, is that they, um, are going to, there's apparently web enemies we have to unlock via the, uh, the unlock menu. We have to unlock new enemies. But it's kind of a weird thing to unlock. But um, yeah, that's how it works right now. And so they'll they'll be unlocked uh, just by playing through the game, it sounds like maybe. Or locked unlocked automatically. I don't know. It, it's but it seemed weird that there's enemies locked behind the, the tech tree. Alright, let's get right and left. They turned that to violence for me. Thank you so much. So this guy picks up coins like crazy. And then apparently he, the, the, when I've seen like a crazy explosion of money, it's because he died and exploded and gave him lots of cash. So I don't know. I guess that's what he does. I know he picked up coins. I know he exploded though. Uh, I have a key for this. Let's do it. What is this guy? Sees everything, including your inner desires and fears. Okay. Um, the Lidless Eye. Oh, is this showing me secrets then? That'd be kind of cool. Oh, really? I tried. All right. Uh, I have a key for this. Let's do it. Ooh, that was not bad. Maybe it shows me the entire map. I don't know. I'm not gonna take that thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't have enough uh, violence saved up right now. I'm prepping for the uh, boss here because we're getting to the point where it's gonna be starting to get into difficult. All right, let's teleport down. This was a room we couldn't get into, unless I have a key, probably. Nope, any grenades. Uh, not worth it. Oh, I can get this open. Let's do it. Okay, nice. 99. Down here. Okay, there's that room. And there's this room. Oh, he can grab that stuff. I forgot. Let him grab it. Get in there and get it. Go, go, go. Thank you. Yeah, 
And maybe that's not where they went with it as far as the grabber goes, but I mean, come on, come on. If it's called, the, if it's controversial, then that's exactly where they're going with it. Argus. These guys are not dying as fast as I'd like them to. Here we go. There we go. Easy. The piercing on this is pretty raising. I like the low slow fire rate is, is one thing, but we got a cream cream beer. Uh, what did it say? It's a heart container, a crystal container. Oh, nice. Okay, let's get out of here. So this is where things ramp up significantly, and so I might just like try to go through the, try to the boss if we find it. Like not go through the entire room. Like I now I have the whole map actually. It's kind of cool. So I could just go right to the boss and not worry about other rooms. Because honestly, I might just run into problems. I know the, bo the enemies do get harder here. But they don't change that much. And last time, I suppose it was my own explosions that were the issue. Oh, really, dude? That's your move, huh? All right, so there is a blessing door over there. Might be worth the trip if I have a key for it. Okay, now, now it's taking now taking down for no good reason. I guess they can't they can't blame the game for this. Difficulty spike up. It is just it just just is getting more difficult. Which is good. It should, you know. Oh damn, I shouldn't stand up with that guy. It's also just familiarity with these enemies too. That guy grabbed it nice. I got a rock. I got a rock. All right. Slot machine. Eh, nah. Let's do this and then let's head toward the boss. Here's, look at that. All my hearts are gone. All my extra shields are gone. Each time an enemy kills, it is killed in the room, get extra damage. It doesn't help me for the boss fight, really. Now I do have to explore around to see if I get hearts or shields or just go for, it, you know, let's go for the boss. I don't know. I mean, I've always explored around fully in each level, but now it's like I only have two hearts left. We struggled against the bosses in the past and usually I die getting to them, not facing them. So I think early on I died a few times to the bosses, but since then, I haven't really had too many issues with that. Please be hearts, please be hearts. Come on. I guess if I had a lot of eggs, I could go around the rooms just to hatch them. go one of these guys look like they're about to explode okay uh, no keys for that one let's check this room out hey free gun do I go with this let's see death ray it's worse decidedly worse this is still saying level two though all right, let's take a look down here. Maybe one of these has got to be like just a fun, like heal room, right? Every time you pick up something, your weapon damage will increase. That's fun. Let's do this. My weapon damage is increased then. 
Temporarily or permanently? Because that makes a big difference for me. Hearts. Now don't lose it. Now don't lose it. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Okay. There is a secret room back over that way. I could try out. Might be worthwhile. It'll be a blessing, right? Right here. Is it there? It's already there. Okay, let's get into it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to avoid. We know what to expect from all these enemies, though. Oof. Got pretty lucky there. Uh, increased jump height and movement speed slightly. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to consider getting to the... The, the sales room over there. All right, we got flower. Come on. There we go. Throwing grenades makes you really nervous in this game. <laughs> All right, so we have some shields to buy. We also have some money we can spend for this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Gunpowder plots. All right. Every time you pick up a bomb, you get an extra bomb. Okay, cool. Kind of a Guy Fox mask. All right. Let's go. Oh, McFamily got a fast food. Oh boy. Luckily I pierce now, so this is actually gonna be pretty easy. Got him. Pretty solid. Increased bullet velocity. That means we have a laser, so that doesn't really matter too much. Okay, we got one more level to do. Level six. All right, here we go. Again, same deal here. I'm going to try to go right for the boss, get that door open, and then kind of work backwards to see if I want to get anything. No keys for that. No, I'm not going to do that just yet. Let's hold off. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to waste any hearts on that now. Uh, the boss door is really close. We can go for it, actually. As long as we have a reasonable number of hearts left over still. No telling if I will at this point now. Alright, I think we're as good as we're gonna hope for at this point. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up losing oh well, okay. I'm gonna end up losing more in uh the process here. I might go teleport back to the blessing room. And come back here. Let's do it. We have a secret room here, okay. Hearts, love it. All right, yeah, this is as good as we're gonna get. Um, I only have 13 coins, so no shop. Let's pop this guy open. We got a pickaxe. Reveals all nearby hidden rooms. Well, you already had something for that. I wish there was some logic in the seeds to not have so many duplicate items like that. Cause I already have that and they're already open for me. So I don't need both of those things. And it's like such a rare drop. See, this is like a whole thing if I go through that. Gauntlet. Um, I'm just gonna open this up and go for it. Let's do it. All right, Hal, God of Machines. Okay, Hal. All okay, you can handle that. You can handle that. What is this all about? Oh my God. We got him. We got him. We got him. This isn't that bad. He 
he telegraphs the moves really, really easily. And the lasers cut each other off. Oh! One more tip. One more time. One more time. There we go. We got paper windmills. We got another thing we got. Doesn't say anywhere here. But we got another thing done. Another boss finished. As you gradually lose consciousness, you're surrounded by warm light. All right. We did it once more. Another boss off the completion list. And then we have new target. Well done. You've unlocked new manager, brand new level. All right. Zeus, the manager. God, electricity. Back to the bar. And we can do some upgrades here. I'm sure we have enough to get the new character. 14. Oh, I got to do one more. Are you kidding me? Mercy HUD doubled the amount of hearts received. Ability to fly when you're down to half a heart. When you're down to half a heart, you gain the ability to fly. That's like not a good thing. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure that out. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the series for right now. I'll be back. Eventually, if the uh, updates look good, we'll come back to this. If not, we'll be back for someone else next time. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed seeing the roguelikes back on the channel, let me know. Uh, if you know any good ones coming up that you'd like to see or like me to revisit that I haven't covered before, let me know. Uh, I'm sure there's I'm sure there's lots out there. So, um, yeah, let me know if you uh, want to see anything like that. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.